Coral reefs are one of the world's most diverse ecosystems, housing tens of thousands of marine species. An estimated one third of all marine fish species live at least part of their lives on coral reefs. Corals provide structure in the reef, protect coastlines from the damaging effects of wave action and tropical storms, provide habitats and shelter for many marine organisms, and are a source of nitrogen and other essential nutrients for marine food chains. The Great Barrier Reef also generates more than $1.5 billion every year for the Australian economy, from fishing and tourism. In recent years, coral reefs have been subjected to a variety of stresses, including destructive fishing practices, overfishing, careless tourism, pollution and sedimentation. However, by far the biggest threat to the health of the coral reef is rising water temperatures due to climate change. Coral bleaching is a response usually attributed to prolonged exposure to high water temperature. Many types of coral have a special symbiotic relationship with a marine algae called zooxanthellae that lives inside a coral's tissue. These algae are the cause of a coral's bright colour and are very efficient food producers that provide up to 90% of the energy corals require to grow and reproduce. Coral bleaching occurs when the relationship between the coral and its host zooxanthellae breaks down. Without the zooxanthellae, the tissue of the coral animal appears transparent and the coral's bright white skeleton is revealed. Corals begin to starve once they bleach. While some corals are able to feed themselves, most corals struggle to survive without their zooxanthellae. If conditions return to normal, corals can regain their zooxanthellae, return to their normal colour and survive. However, this stress is likely to cause decreased coral growth and reproduction, and increased susceptibility to disease, meaning that bleached corals often die if the stress persists. Coral reefs that have high rates of coral death following bleaching can take many years or even decades to recover. Mass bleaching is a modern phenomenon in which large areas of the reef are bleached due to exposure to warmer than normal conditions. The first mass bleaching event in the Western Pacific Ocean was not recorded until 1979. Since then there have been eight recorded mass bleaching events, each time increasing in severity until the most recent event in 2016, which killed an estimated 35% of corals along the northern and central sections of the Great Barrier Reef. These events have all occurred while global temperatures have risen by just one degree Celsius above the pre-industrial period. With global ocean temperatures on the rise, it is predicted that these mass bleaching events will only increase in frequency and severity in the coming decades. Such bleaching events may be the final nail in the coffin for already stressed coral reefs and reef ecosystems. So what can we do to protect our coral reefs? With more and more stress being put on the reef every day, research has never been so important. The only way we can implement an action plan to conserve the reef is to improve our understanding of the mechanisms that influence bleaching. It is also essential that we seek alternative renewable energy sources in order to reduce our emissions of atmospheric carbon dioxide, in order to reduce the severity of future temperature anomalies. Coral reefs are areas of extremely high ecological, economic and intrinsic value. So research is extremely important so we can put together a plan to protect them.